how concerned uh, are, are you about AI powered disinformation? Is that overhyped? And uh, will the Online Safety Act create protections for future elections? And lastly, from me, uh, Minister Jones, it is in terms of deep, deep fakes. We have heard that deep fakes did not create major issues uh, in this election. So, how concerned uh, are, are you about AI powered disinformation? Is that overhyped? And uh, will the Online Safety Act create protections for future elections? So again, the Online Safety Act does cover um, uh, deep fakes, and where those are identified, then the uh, social media companies will be required to take them down. Um, so that's all part of, part of the Act. Uh, but in addition <coughs> to that, we're doing a, a huge piece of work with the Home Office to uh, be better at identifying deep fakes. Uh, we have something called the Deep, T deep Fake Detection Challenge. Uh, we've been working with a whole range of researchers and innovators uh, to set up new mechanisms for uh, empowering uh, organisations, but also citizens individually, to identify what is real and what is a deep fake. And, and actually, they are making huge strides now in terms of being able to empower people to do that. That's uh, at the moment they're on the, the second phase of that challenge, uh, working with the, uh, the the companies that have best come up with the most promising prototypes for all of that. So I think the lesson that we're learning from all of this, of course, is we always have to be one step ahead. We all, we, we all, you know, I'm sure we'll get. Better at identifying deep fakes, but then there'll be another challenge and another challenge. Uh, and it's absolutely worth saying that we are not complacent in any of this. We will have to keep modernising, we'll have to keep reinventing to make sure that we are, you know, we keep our mechanisms and our protections for citizens up to date so we're able to deal with emerging technologies in whatever form they come, come at us.